Hey folks, it's Cameron from the Brush Fire Mind, and this is Coffee. If you check out the link down below in the description, you can find ways to support us by buying us more coffee. Okay, thanks. As in, you know what, let's let's do the job that I actually claim that I'm going to do, and point out that, you know, Trump is being taken out of context here. He never said the Nazis were fine people. He said they were fine people about the statues, and because he said it a few sentences away from where he roundly condemned the neo-Nazis. There's no question about his opinion there. Oh, it wasn't a few sentences away. It, look, I know, I know. It was but the, the same sentence. It was the same paragraph, but the point being, if that had been his actual show, it would have been fascinating, and he'd still be on the air. Let's start with Let's start with the meme war, actually. Because there's two things with the meme war. We do meme reviews, and then we talk about things that are naturally memetic subjects. Like... Gotta love that meme magic. That some meme things magic. Just, some things just click. Yeah. And so, like, LOL, the god, the Egyptian god of chaos. Kick, kick, kick. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's start with a thing that probably should have happened a long time ago, but... You know, some people just can't get their Mr. Potato Heads out of their asses. But CNN did it. CNN just pulled Mr. Potato Head out of their ass. CNN boss Chris Licht warns anxious staffers over more changes after axing of reliable sources and exit of Brian Stelter. And I want to have a little fun with this headline. You've got people. They work for you. And they're nervous. So you issue them a warning of more <laughs> of more changes. It's like, no, no, guys, don't worry. Don't worry. You're all on the chopping block. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Steve says before, how this fool lasted 13 years is beyond me. Oh, uh, he knows it, how it to makes a lot of sense. Donuts, Steve. It, it it honestly it makes a lot of sense why he stuck around. He he was the the pretty little boy for the for a particular audience, and then um, all of a sudden, Trump came in, and he became basically the CNN face of the Trump reply guy. Uh, throughout the Trump presidency, before excuse me, before the God Emperor was yeeted off of the the entire network, most especially Twitter, there were a lot. And I mean, no shit, a lot of urinalists who basically made their mark just replying to Trump tweets and writing articles about Trump tweets. It, people were writing 500 to 1,000 word articles on things like why he misspelled coffee in the Kofefi dump, right? And Because he was tired it, and tweeting? Trump, Trump was such a massive presence on the platform that merely replying to him or mentioning him was a a pretty a pretty surefire way to get your numbers up as long as you weren't speaking in support of Donald Trump. Okay, so I'd, I'd actually could you could you pull it back over? I'd actually like to dig into this article a little bit. Okay. I'm going to jump straight to the second paragraph. According to sources who were present, licked I think that's how you say it. Yeah, it is. Boy, a guy named Licked, a guy named Licked, fired Brian Stelter. Sometimes the meme magic just writes itself. Licked told CNN employees at Friday's well-attended editorial meeting, <laughs> there will be moves you may not agree with or understand. Some took that to mean they may not like some of the changes. I bet Brian Stelter did not. He added, I want to acknowledge to everyone that this is a time of change. I know that this is unsettling. Licht also expressed some irritation over some media reports about CNN's plans. <laughs> He's irritated that people are reporting on CNN after they had the, the, the show Reliable Sources that was really only about Fox Bad. Like, it was yeah. very rare that, anyhow, I'm characterizing them as incorrect assumptions. The incorrect assumptions, the exec stressed to staff that those fluid plans are only known by a few in CNN's management inner circle. CNN, huh. we have plans for your fluids. Hey, wait a minute. 
You mean it's aggravating when only a few people inside your organization know what's going on and somehow that info gets leaked to the press and everybody runs with it because it's Apparently. salacious? Apparently. Gee, CNN, that's annoying? Huh. <laughs> okay, good to know. Okay, sure. Sure. <laughs> I, I do want to. I do want to take just a moment. We we already did our greetings and hellos, but uh, I see Alex Bleeping Jones has joined us for the first time in forever. It's been a hot minute, Alex. We've missed you, and uh, yeah, just we were talking a little bit about getting shouted out by Sticks Hex and Hammer last uh, last Friday, but I want I want y'all to know that Alex Bleeping Jones was a gave, he was a big boost for us early on when I I did a few live streams with him. Um, and I'll have to keep an eye out. I haven't seen you pop up live uh, on your own show in quite a while either, Alex. So, you know, we we need to we need to fix that, brother. <laughs> so anyhow, um, yeah, yeah. It, it only took, as somebody in the comment section pointed out, thirteen years for the reliable sources that were not terribly reliable. Like it was, if if the show Reliable Sources was actually Okay, not Brian Stelter. Just about anybody other than Brian Stelter, because nobody wants to listen to that voice for an hour straight. You just don't. Right. Um, however, that being said, if it had actually been a show that was a, where he was an omnibudsman of the news for the week, like, for example, I don't know, maybe, possibly... Okay, guys, I hate to break it to you, but when Trump said there are very fine people on both sides, he meant the statue. Not the neo Nazis, as in you know what? Let's let's do the job that I actually claim that I'm going to do, and point out that you know Trump is being taken out of context here. He never said the Nazis were fine people. He said there were fine people about the statues, and because he said it a few sentences away from where he roundly condemned the neo-Nazis. There's no question about his opinion there. Oh, it wasn't a few sentences away. It, look, I know, I know. It was but the, the same sentence. It was the same paragraph, but the point being, if that had been his actual show, it would have been fascinating, and he'd still be on the air. But, I mean, let's Indeed. face it. We're making fun of Brian Stelter because he's totally straight, guys. Just meet my wife. It's just like that. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the. Yeah, he is the straightest lunchbox on the playground. Yeah, exactly. And he's totally got black friends too. And I'm, just ask, just ask Don Lemon. And I'm sure that with uh, CNN's stellar history with sexual deviance. Well, CNN he, doesn't. He hadn't been. He hadn't been shady in anything. Oh no, CNN. Yes, no. CNN has a fantastic history with sexual deviants. They, they hire them. They hire them. <laughs> they I mean, them. Elliot Spitzer and Jeffrey Tubin, though apparently. Let's not Tubin, forget Don Lemon. Uh, and, well, Don Lemon hadn't been proven yet, but well, uh, if the trend holds, I think that's only a matter I think of you've time. Been convicted yet? <laughs> <laughs> proven, convicted, whatever. Anyhow, if the if the trend holds, okay, we, we know where it's going to go. Anyhow, but it would have been a, a fantastic show, but they just weren't interested in in any of that. They were, I forget which newspaper it was. It might have been the New York Times. It might have been WAPO. I don't remember which one, but sometime around when Trump was elected in 2016, they openly said, we are now in a period where we must conduct advocacy journalism yes trump is so dangerous we have to shift the focus of our reporting to trump bad because god forbid god forbid that the man get anything done for the four years he's going to be in there maybe we can get him impeached and then if and then barring all that we can at least pile so much bullshit on top of him that by the time 2020 rolls around he cannot get uh he cannot get reelected. Well, and Stelter, in you know, along with many of the other personalities at CNN, is is individually responsible for contributing to this fact. There are still people out there who can vote that believe that Donald Trump had the the twenty sixteen election stolen by Russia. 
There are people who unironically believe that to be the case, and it's largely because they watch exclusively CNN coverage. And, and think that's, they're getting that's the complete a claim. picture. That's a claim that had millions of U.S. tax dollars and years of illicit investigation. And I say illicit advisedly, by done by an FBI that was clearly co-opted by the hard left, the hard left uh, political parties, the the Democrat National Party, um, co-opted to go so far as to fabricate evidence to even get authorization to begin the investigation at all. They fabricated evidence. They lied to FISA courts in order to conduct investigations which were illicit on the merits and then lied and lied and lied. And when we finally got the Mueller report out, it said there's no evidence of an actual crime, and so we are going to go after him for obstruction. And it's and that's when we started hearing, quite reasonably, if there's not a crime there's not to be investigated, yeah. what could be obstruct what could he possibly do to obstruct the investigation of a crime that doesn't exist? Right? And Stelter was one of the cheerleaders. He was one of those girls with the pom poms out there shaking them next to Rachel Maddow. Demanding more and more and more impeachment, impeachment, execution, terminate the old man. Um, and they still kept him around until just just a week ago. Well, I mean, until uh, basically until an adult showed up and said, good God, you know, CNN's they're going to run out of money. It's going to happen. Yeah. So I've got to do what I got to do. And I, I don't want uh, I don't want you to get too excited about this happening either. Um it That's could very, though. It is hilarious, but it could very well be that that uh, Licht and the others on the board making the decision to get rid of people like Tubin and Stetler. Um, it They're could just be the sacrificial th- lambs. Well, not not even just that. It could be as simple as, wow, these guys are just way too obvious. Yeah, we yeah. need to get some people in here who don't have a committed track record of committing journalistic malfeasance. Who, oh, yeah, no. Who haven't, who haven't been caught in the lies over and over again uh, so that the new lies can have a, a kind of varnish of credibility. That's actually what I was going to say, is that there will be a veneer of credibility. Like, I, I get exactly what you're saying. Like, okay, we fire a couple of pieces of shit so that we can say, hey, we fired the pieces of shit. Give us a second chance. And right? we can all say, no. No. Honey, let me come back home. I haven't had a drink in three whole days. <laughs> Why do you make me hit you? Why do you make me hit you? God damn it, I told you the spaghetti was supposed to be warm! 